Hi, let's continue the configuration of our virtual machine. We need to be able to download Visual Studio from one of the various sites. You may be using Cal State LA's MSDNAA account. Others may be using other systems such as their own MSDN account or downloading the free uh, Windows Express from Windows 8. Now that our virtual machine is running and we're pointing to virtual machine and we have one running in our account or more, we now want to connect. So I click on connect and now I'm going to open the RDP. The RDP opens. I'll do a connection. I've already entered my password, so I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, verification of who I am by using the password. That was another quick process. So, we now have the remote desktop connection set up, so I'll click on yes. This opens up the virtual machine. Now the virtual machine requires some configuration, so down here on the taskbar I'll come down here and click on the server manager. This will open server manager here. Think of this as configuration panel for this uh, virtual machine. I need now to configure this local server. So I click on configure local server and to be able to download and install things I need to change IE enhanced security configuration from on which it is by default to off. I've already done this but I'm going to go ahead and click on off and um, you need to have it in this configuration right here where it's off for the administrators, off for the users. And click on OK. Once you're done with that it saves the uh, uh, modifications. You may see the sustain as on for a few seconds. That's okay. Go ahead and click on this to go back and uh, close this window. And now you want to open up Internet Explorer. We don't see Internet Explorer on here. Well the server uses the same configuration approach as Windows 8 and so moving your mouse over here to the corner and up to start open start and here's Internet Explorer. Now notice a couple of things about the Windows Server 2012. There is no store. This is confusing because it would seem that if there's no store how can I connect to the store as a developer? Well that's okay, you can. Uh, first of all you need to have Visual Studio on, the, on this machine. The thing is, is you cannot download things from the store onto server in this configuration. I don't know if there is a configuration that you could, but anyway. So let's go ahead and use recommended security settings and click OK. Now once we've done that, we're now connect, able to connect to the Internet. So where I'm going is I'm going to go to msdn.microsoft.com and for this version, I'm going to download the Express for Windows 8, just to keep it really simple. If you have an MSDN or an MSDNAA or DreamSpark account, then by all means use that to get the upper, the better uh, product. If you're a student you should really consider um, getting Ultimate. BizSpark users and so forth should as well. Now need, you need some caution, uh, exercise some caution here. You need to have Visual Studio 2012 Express for Windows 8. Now I've made the mistake of downloading the wrong thing before. So here we go. I'll go here to Visual Studio and uh, you can download and install a trial version. You may as well because this is only going to be good for 90 days, but if you don't want to go that route, fine. Um, some learning tools here and um, this is a pretty awesome place to get started. Now um, we need to find our Visual Studio Express Here's Visual Studio Express, and so I need to download and utilize Win Visual Studio Express 2012 for Windows 8. Now before there was a Visual Studio for each language, now it's more oriented toward the um, platform. So now I'm going to download and install Visual Studio Express 2012 for Windows 8. I can install now, or I could download it. Uh, for this pro purpose, just go ahead and do install now. 
your server will simply hang out and make things happen uh, for the time frame that you need to have this in installing. So click on run. The web installs actually quite quick. If you're doing this normally, uh, web installs are as fast as uh, doing a download and then an installation. So that's it. We're starting our installation process and we've now gone through the entire process on how to get your virtual machine started and how to configure it. So make sure you agree to license terms. Always read license terms. You know the drill. So um, go ahead and click on install. And now the installation will be occurring on the server. You can go off and do whatever you need to do now. That's it. Thank you very much.